morning and welcome back or welcome to scrapping on the fly this is Kristen and I have finally done it if you have been watching any of the previous videos I have been putting off one thing since the beginning of scrapbooking magic kingdom and it is under this Mickey paper <sighs> now I've built it up so much over the last couple of weeks that I've been working on Magic Kingdom. You all are probably expecting some kind of miraculous, most famous, fabulous thing ever. It is not that. It is good. I love it, and I love the way it turned out, but it's not something that's going to end up in the Smithsonian someday. So, <laughs> I decided I've been doing um, a lot of, like, sets, like, um, keeping with the same theme for the entire ride or attraction or um, whatever the set is. So like um, Space Mountain, I had the same shade of base paper, but I designed it with my Distress Oxide sprays um, differently. Um, and then I did the same thing with a couple of different other ones. I'm um, either the same paper or like alternating back and forth. So. I did use um, a Colorbox Craft um, base as a base page for all. There is four. I did it. I did put it on four pages. Um, and I don't feel like anything is overwhelming. Maybe the last page a little bit. So, um, so anyway, all four pages are on uh, the Craft cardstock. Um, and then... Um, all of the pages, I took one piece of, I don't have any out here, uh, but here is the, I've used this for my inks. It's American Crafts, um, Sunshine and Good Times by Amy Tangerine, and it has this green and blue stripes on one side and watermelons on the other, and it was something I believe I got in a marketplace um, like Facebook Marketplace, uh, purchased, it was like a stack of like a ton of these papers. And I love this side. I don't know how often I'll be able to use watermelons. So I'm really glad that this greenish blue colors are so, um, versatile. So this is the, um, branding strip. So I was using it to test. I got new inks today from also for Marketplace. And so I was testing it out on there to see if they worked and what color they were. So here's my cover page. I had these safari um, embellishments from Jolie's. And I found this one um, uh, phrase from my Tim Holtz that says that we may safely reach the shore. And from my paper house productions, um, this geotag and the all aboard. And then these little um, anchors came from a Jolie's, I think it's called All Aboard as well. Um, the Jungle Cruise thing uh, came from the map. I matted it on a lime green, which you'll see in a few different places. And I matted it on like a shiny, um, it's really a scrap from where I had made another page. And it was just a little scrap and it was brown craft paper with some gold painted on it. And then this best place ever is um, a cut apart from a 12 by 12. It was bigger than this, but I cut it down so it would fit proper. And this little um, cheetah print heart came from a Simple Stories I Am a 12 by 12 sheet. And then, of course, my bingo chip. So this is the Jungle Cruise. I matted this on um, Sandy Lion. It's the tickets because I wanted some blue and green and I was good with the yellow being there and it was Disney paper that I was trying to make sure got utilized. I took, um, I got a couple of ink pads on Marketplace today and so I took the Clover Meadow and Star Spangled Blue and these are close to my heart inks and I inked top with the green and the bottom with the blue and then put these pictures down uh, this is my husband my son and me and then me and my daughter the way we were sitting on the boat because we were the last ones to get on um, 
we could not sit like all in a row and do our normal picture. Um, and I could have trimmed this down, but there's a story that I will find a way to tell in here about this gentleman who was talking to my husband. He had commented on his shirt and he was wearing a shirt I made him. And then we kept seeing them in line and they, he talked to us every time he saw us and stuff. So it was pretty funny. So I didn't want to cut that out because that's part of the story from this adventure. So this is page number one. Page number two, I took um, my Stamp Abilities ink pads. These are the little ones. Um, and I bought, they were inexpensive. They were off on 50% off a couple weeks back. Um, you know, when the stamp, the paper studio stuff goes on sale, I think those were on sale then or at some point they were 50% off. So they were like $5 for all the different colors. So I'm okay if I like blend a little bit. So I just did blue, green, brown, and then blue again, just to bring in the different things that were going to be on the page. This is all while we were waiting in line. Um, this you and me, this is actually one tag that I cut in half. This is from a 12 by 12 Echo Park, um, cut apart. Uh, these are just things that we saw while we were in line of me and my son. And there's my bingo chip and then Adventure Awaits came from one of these, uh, cork chips by Tim Holtz. And there were three or four that fit and I laid them all out and tried to decide which one I liked the most. And so Adventure Awaits one. Um, this is just a, something that I was in one of my many, many little pockets of my, um, crocodile, um, sticker books. And I don't know where I got it or how long I've had it, but it fit perfectly because there was like some suitcases and luggages and like tons of like these little wooden boxes sitting around while you waited in line. And then this little camera came from that Safari, um, embellishment page. And that is page number two. And this has that same paper at the top and bottom. That is the theme for these pages. Um, this is us actually on the boat and some of the things that we saw. So here is our um, skipper. And her name is Emily. So the title of this page is Skipper Emily. And um, so one of the things, I don't know if, if you've never been on the Jungle Cruise, um, it is a scripted pun fest because they have puns about everything you see and so I had seen a um, YouTube video that a woman had made like a two-page spread and had typed up some of the things that they said on the ride and put them on the page so I kind of took that and ran with it and I have tags and so I wrote out some of the puns and comments with the pictures that you know coincided with it so here she is asking us questions um, and then I just wrote up here on um, with a black zig pen I love my job as a skipper in fact my parents are so proud of my brother <laughs> and so um, then these are just pictures uh, she said something comical about the guy who rode, drove this truck uh this like humvee and it's upside down so i had this from the safari thing and i put it on upside down um i took a selfie with this little um house little hut and then there's another little hut and then um there's a waterfall and she has a commentary about that and then you go under the waterfall and she's got a commentary about that and everything, like I said, is really punny. So I put the silly days, which came from um, this and my what a character, are um, cut aparts out of my Cree Keller's. Keller, every time I try and say this, I get it wrong. Keller Creation um, at acidfree.com. Those came from there. I got this off the all aboard um, Joe Lee's. The safari hat also came from the safari thing from um, the Jolie's embellishments and I just wrote down here and it's kind of hard to see because of the lines but I just made a note about how she made jokes and was really punny um, and what a fun ride it was um, so that 
is page number three. And this is my busy page. But I'm okay with it. I didn't mat any of the pictures because none of them are more important than the other. They all just kind of go along with the comments that she made on the ride. So this section is, um, you know, lions and they're babysitting this zebra. <laughs> And so she makes comment about how they're just, um, they're friends with the zebra and they're protecting him while he sleeps. And so I have these stickers and actually I just got these at Hobby Lobby today. Um, I have them, here they are. They were on, I just found them on clearance and I guess they were for like a baby book. And it, all the stickers on this page, most, almost all of them came from here. So everything missing from here is on this page. So I put the lion and the zebra on here and then um, this, there were giraffes right here and they got cut off when I was trying to take the selfie of these um, sandstones and she makes some funny commentary about that and here's a hippo in the water and she makes some funny comment about that. Um, here's some crocodiles and she did say something about that but I just was running out of room. <laughs> so, um, And then here's uh, something about the elephants. And then here's this comment about uh, the rhinoceros who has chased this crew of guys up a, a ton, uh, up a pole. So it just says something about uh, this right here is a perfect example of why you never get into an argument with a rhino. He'll always get his point across in the end. So, um, and I put little arrows to kind of point towards whatever the picture was that it was, you know, talking about, even though it's pretty obvious. Um, this came from the Jolie's Safari. Um, this butterfly came from the Simple Stories I Am 12 by 12 sheet. Um, I have these, let's see, I think they are, uh, yeah, stickabilities. I had not really used too many of them, a bunch of these um, capital letters, but I hadn't used any of these lowercase letters of these animal print and I thought well this is I, was, I meant to use them for the Kilimanjaro Safari and after I was done with the whole thing I was going through my stuff and found them and I went oh my gosh you're kidding me so this was perfect it says all the animals and I just tucked little animals all around the page used a little washi to give some shelves to different pictures or um, stickers and that is it. So I did not put any ink on this page like I did the other three. Um, I had considered it like in the empty spaces, but they were gonna be so random where they were that I just figured that I would leave this page. It was gonna be busy enough as it was. So I got picture and a picture, it's like a TV. Um, and But I got all my pictures and the four pages I'm very happy with the way that they turned out. All four of them have their little bingo chip. And um, now I have one more page to do for Magic Kingdom because I found um, a couple of Disney Princess Parade pictures that did not get printed. And I knew I had them. I don't know how I missed them, but I did. So that will be the end of Magic Kingdom. So the next step after today so starting tomorrow I'm gonna get out my Star Wars pictures and start working on those so and then when I get pictures printed again I will finish the last picture for Magic Kingdom I did get a book for Animal Kingdom today and put all of my pages away in an animal print um, 12 by 12 binder that I got at Hobby Lobby because they were 50% off today and so now I have six books. One is completely empty because it's going to have the Star Wars, but the other ones are pretty full. Um, I have my list right here. I've written today's four pages on here. I have 232 pages done for Disney. I'm at 57 pages for this month, for August 2021. And I'm, this, these four mark 69 pages completed for my um, Magic Kingdom book. So the one princess page will get me at 70, which is what I was hoping for. And so 
I will uh, complete that when I get the picture back. So that's what I've got to share today. Um, look forward to working with some Star Wars pictures tomorrow and trying to use up some more of my um, Disney uh, embellishments and papers and things like that. I'm trying some new techniques and uh, my birthday's coming up and I've asked for some um, new things to try so we shall see and that is it so I hope you all had a great day and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the weekend it is Saturday um, just for a couple more minutes um, and so tomorrow's church and then I'll be home to get some more scrapping done so have a wonderful weekend and I hope you get a chance to do something you love with someone you love Happy scrapping.